I brought this little bad boy in with me this morning and had it on the ready just in case the the bar showed up and uh, no bar it is roughly the same time as he was here last week but uh, I don't have the patience or the opportunity to just wait so the camera must go away so um, question why is it that 58 degrees in the morning is butt ass cold and at uh, 830 at night it's comfy I just don't get it That was my favorite part of the trip. I love that part. We call it the windy bit. And it always seems to be a pain in the butt getting stuck behind somebody on that because they go way slow. Okay, it's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm here at work. Uh, no sight of a bear yet, but so far it's been like the summer of death. guy that lives across the street from us his dog got run over by some crazy ass neighbor who likes to fly up and down the road um, there I was driving along minding my own business and out of the sky <laughs> a bird hits my car bounces up lands on the windshield and I had to do the windshield wiper thing to get it off and it wouldn't get off and it didn't fall off the car until I went around a turn but it scared the whole living crap out of me because out of nowhere <laughs> and uh, on the way to work this morning I think I hit a raccoon <laughs> you know I, I felt a little thump thump but not a big thump thump so I don't know if I grazed it or or what but uh, yeah Hello there! Hi, my friend John! Hi. Who finally got his hair cut right. <laughs> it was funny, you should have seen it, but anyway, uh, we're about ready to, to uh, take a little road trip up to the top of Independence Pass. We have we have these for, for these now. for the for now for the way up. The journey. And when we get there. But we're not going to shake those up to make them explode when we get up there because that'd be just wrong. Yeah. Hopefully they... It would be nice if they had some reaction. Yeah, like it would time. be nice if they had some sort of reaction. Like last time when it was just... Like, when, like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened because we figured that's even 4,000 feet higher than we are here. <sighs> yeah. Well, off we go. Okay, hi, we're here, and no, we didn't get any footage on the way up because it was all windy road, and uh, quite frankly, no offense, I'd rather not die than get footage of the road trip for you. Um, I didn't want to, like, that to sound mean, but uh, kind of... I would die for many things, but uh, videotaping a corny-ass road trip isn't one of them. <sighs> okay. And we got people. People? Yeah, people coming down. Look, there's people coming down. Oh, look at that. Because of the wine, I didn't drink much of this. I don't know how much John drank. Yeah. He drank a little bit more than me. Yeah. But considering, you know, I was driving. 
I drank a little less, but uh, we'll okay. we'll we'll get up yonder up yonder a little bit. I'm gonna grab something that I probably shouldn't grab because well you know it's not good for you. And uh, we'll see you at the top of the path. Cutters. Might be hard to hear because it's windy and this camera does not like the wind at all. So, John and I are up here at Independence Pass, Evelation. Ev Evelation. Evelation? Yeah. Uh, yeah, good enough. Uh, 12,095 feet, if I remember correctly. I'll take a picture of the sign later. But we brought the Mountain Dew here. The last Hopefully model. Can... Yeah, now it's not making that. Anyway, so, oh, now it is. <sighs> and anyway, yeah. um, here, here's the Independence Pass. Yeah. Uh, delicious. Anyway, um, yeah. <sighs> Gotta go. Bye bye.